WTIX. Essential News. This is the mighty 690 Priority One Story. Washington President Johnson said this morning in a prepared address that the United States has met deliberate aggression with deliberate action against the North Vietnamese. And an address prepared for delivery at Syracuse University, Johnson said aggression unchallenged is aggression unleashed. This news, a service of OJ's Beauty Lotion, the quick and easy way to beauty. President Johnson recounted the attacks on U.S. destroyers in the Gulf of Tonkin off North Vietnam and the counteraction he ordered against the hostile ships and shore bases. He said the attacks were deliberate, the attacks were unprovoked, the attacks have been answered. Johnson said the peace requires that the United States and all its friends stand firm against the present government of North Vietnam, which he said is flouting the will of the world. Earlier, Defense Secretary Robert McNamara told reporters that U.S. Navy aircraft made a devastating strike at North Vietnamese PT boats and their shore bases in retaliation for two attacks on American craft in the Tonkin Gulf. McNamara said it is up to the Vietnamese as to whether this will be all that is necessary. The Secretary reported four North Vietnamese toppled bases heavily damaged and an oil depot also was wrecked. 25 PT boats destroyed or damaged. The 64 attack flights from the carriers Ticonderoga and Constellation resulted in two American aircraft down by ground fire and two damage. McNamara announced several other moves had been taken to strengthen U.S. forces in the Pacific area. The secretary added that reconnaissance flights will be carried out later to determine the exact amount of damage to the North Vietnamese. Meanwhile, all leaves have been canceled to all U.S. personnel in South Vietnam. McNamara's summary of U.S. reaction was a swift follow-up to President Johnson's announcement last night that Navy planes had been sent to give what he termed a positive reply to the red attacks. Republican and Democratic Senate leaders have agreed to quick bipartisan Senate approval of a declaration of support of President Johnson's actions in the Southeast Asian crisis. Senate Democratic Leader Mike Mansfield and Senate Republican Leader Everett Dirksen reached the agreement at a conference in advance of today's Senate session. The United States has now rushed six supersonic Air Force jet fighters to Saigon, the South Vietnamese Air Force has been put on alert. Tanks are rumbling toward the key northern base of Da Nang. The swift military buildup was made to meet any attacks from communist North Vietnam or Red China. The Japanese Kyoto News Service reports that more than 20 American warships stationed at the U.S. Navy base at Yokosuka have left for unknown destinations. The U.S. Navy has refused to confirm that report. And at the request of Soviet Russia, the United Nations Security Council meeting of the Southeast Asia crisis was postponed from 10 o'clock this morning to Williams time until 1 o'clock this afternoon. The United States has requested that session. The United States has also called meetings today of the permanent NATO Council in Paris and the CETO Council in Bangkok. The Republican presidential nominee, Senator Barry Goldwater, back in Washington after a vacation in California, has given full support to President Johnson's actions in Vietnam. Said Goldwater, I believe it is the only thing that we can do under the circumstances. You are listening to Essential News on WTIX. Every man alive admires the woman with flawless, perfectly clear skin. Every woman envies her if her own complexion is less perfect. For there is nothing so noticeable as skin imperfections. Nothing so pleasing to see, so satisfying to possess as clear skin. That's why OJ's Beauty Lotion is so important to you. Its regular and proper use makes skin clear and keeps it that way. Used early enough, it prevents the problems which often result in skin imperfections. And OJ's Beauty Lotion is as clear as the skin it beautifies. Crystal clear, odorless, and greaseless. A refreshing astringent, a deep down cleanser. OJ's Beauty Lotion was made to give pleasure and satisfaction through beauty to the women who use it and the men who admire them. It's perfectly clear. President Johnson's daughter, 17-year-old Lucy Baines, will launch a ship in New Orleans September 5th. She'll spend the day in New Orleans for that ceremony. Miss Johnson will ride with shipyard officials, wives and families of shipyard workers on a boat trip up the Mississippi to the Avondale Shipyard. She'll launch the SS Louise Lex. Three Negroes, meanwhile, have filed a federal court suit in New Orleans to desegregate lunch counter facilities at all six New Orleans area supermarkets operated by Schwegman Brothers. The suit charges that one or more of the Negroes refuse service at one or another of the Schwegman stores July 16th, 17th, and 18th. 
15th. The suit filed by Aretha Castle, the Corps Head in New Orleans, Doris Castle, and Avery Alexander. A Birmingham newspaper, The News, says a reward of $30,000 led the FBI to the slain civil rights workers found near Philadelphia, Mississippi. The newspaper said the FBI also was given the names of seven persons possibly involved in the murders. No arrest have been announced by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is Charlie Ray. This news, a service of O.J.'s Beauty Lotion, the quick and easy way to beauty. For breaking news first, when seconds count, depend always on essential news on WTIX New Orleans, Louisiana. Now, the very latest weather. Partly cloudy through tomorrow with isolated mostly afternoon thunder showers. Low temperature tonight, 74. The high today, 97. At this moment, partly cloudy at 85 degrees. It's 11 a.m. Skip Wilkerson, show time. Round, round, get around, I get around, yeah, get around, round, round. 